All right, so today we're doing one of the last major modifications before we could turbo the FC, and that is modifying the Turbo 2 lower intake manifold to mate up to the six port block. So let's go inside the garage. I'll show you what the manifold looks like, what we're doing, and why. Here is our Turbo 2 lower intake manifold. I did purchase this used, and as you can see, it does already have some block offs, which is awesome. Now, physically, this will bolt up to the NA6 port, no problem. However, if you take a six port gasket, you'll see that the six port has some additional areas where air is flowing right here. So we will have to dremel these areas out from this manifold. Now, it's not as simple as just doing that. We do have to fill in some of these areas as well with some epoxy. But the first thing we're gonna do is just remove all this gasket material, clean everything up, and get ready for some JB weld. All right, well, here's the manifold after a deep clean. I hit it with some simple green and a power washer. And as you can see, the ports look pretty clean. Um, but most importantly, these cavities that we're filling are spotless. We'll be filling those with some good old fashioned JB weld. And as I'm filling it, I'm also gonna stick a welded wire and move it around in these cavities just to eliminate any air pockets. All right, so this looks good. Uh, don't worry about the excess. We're gonna actually take a sand and block to this and make it completely flush. But first, we're just gonna wait a few days and let this fully cure and harden, and then we'll get back to it. All right, well, this JB weld has had a few days to set. And before we proceed with cutting out our ports, what we're gonna do is sand this so it's completely flat so that we have a nice surface that will mate to the engine. Well, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The surface seems pretty true. What we'll do now is hold our gasket in place while we trace the outline of our ports, and that will be our guide for when we Dremel. Now that we have our outline, we'll basically use our Dremel to port out this area, and I think these two attachments should give me enough control where I could port out a lot and then make a little bevel with this one. So uh, let's get to it. All right, well those stone grinding bits did not cut for squat. So uh, what I'm gonna try is this carbide bit. Hopefully this does the trick. Let's try it out. So even with the carbide bit, it does seem to take a while to even cut a lot of this material away. So I'm gonna use a metal cutting wheel to get a lot of the area out first, and then I'll use the carbide bit to clean it up. Well, I am pretty happy with how this is turning out. As you can see, I've pretty much gone exactly to my outline, and I've tried to smooth as much as possible with that cutoff wheel. So uh, this is pretty much done as far as how big my cuts are gonna be. So now I'm just gonna work on smoothing this out and making this as smooth as possible. And then we'll work on the other side. And we are done. We managed to get both sides looking pretty similar. Um, more importantly, they are both smooth and have a nice bevel. Um, now that that is over with, and it did seem to take forever, we are gonna 
deeply clean this manifold as well as cap off all of these connections. So we have our back lines as well as these OMP injectors. Alright, well we did run out of time for today's episode, but in the next episode we will install our newly modified Turbo 2 lower intake manifold as well as the upper intake manifold, and pretty soon we can mount that turbo. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.